Hey, this is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets and uh, today we're going to look at the S&P 500 in our daily update. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only, not intended to be any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions and make do your own due diligence to make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional, just a guy that draws lines on charts. So let's see what happened today. Okay, we are looking at a 15-minute uh, chart. Each bar is, uh, is 15 minutes. And we're not really going to do much more than look at, at just this, uh, these last uh, number of days. Because if, if you've been following my videos, you know kind of what the big picture is. <coughs> that um, there was an inverse head and shoulders set up for the flash from the flash crash that uh, pointed us in the direction of 1240 to 1250. We made that and then some, um, and we have been undergoing consolidations that would then break out. Another consolidation, another breakout. These. Uh, purple lines represent resistance and uh, yesterday I said you know we really didn't get much of a consolidation here um, because we never reached the top of this channel and we never reached the bottom as we did here and here so this was just kind of a weak looking kind of a milk toast mamby pamby uh, sideways action that, that really didn't look like it had much energy involved in it at all and um, and the way it acted when it got over this uh, neckline pretty much showed that it didn't have much energy at all. If we look at a, uh, let's look at it on a five minute time frame, you can see that this resistance is roughly 1260, not exactly. Uh, when it first hit here, uh, the S&P was in a channel defined by these green lines. And, uh, and it came back, looked like it wanted to bounce on that bottom of the green channel, but just didn't have the, didn't have the strength to do it. So it came down and found a new low. This line was not there, by the way, when it, when it bounced. I was expecting it maybe to bounce here. But anyway, it bounced before it got there, came back, tested this 1260 again, made a shallow sell-off, tested it again, then uh, yesterday, uh, that being Wednesday, broke out just kind of weakly. By the end of the day, it came back down. And, uh, and yesterday, I said, you know, this just doesn't look that strong. It could come back up, but this whole thing just looks suspect. And uh, lo and behold, today, we briefly got above the line, then came back below it, bounced on a trend line, drawn between this breakout from the previous consolidation and that low that uh, that happened on Monday. So uh, um, so anyway, make a long story short, we just got kind of a we just got kind of a weak uh, non-committed market and maybe that's indicative of um, of what's going on with the holidays. Maybe when January rolls around, uh, things will pick up a bit. Who's who's to say? And uh, so anyway, that's what was going on with the S&P 500 today. Just uh, just kind of lackadaisical. You know, we're only. Uh, I'm not panicking here by any stretch because we're only two uh, two points below this neckline. We may bust well above it tomorrow. I don't know. Or it could break down here. You just have to watch it. And because right now, as I mentioned. Um, there is no obvious pattern that has pointed to a target the way we were working for a long time. You remember when we had this uh, large inverted head and shoulders pattern. I have to kind of move this here. When we had this large pattern right here that was so obvious, that was pointing to 1250 to 1260, uh, excuse me, 1240 to 1250. All during this entire uh, uh, trip up, 
we had that in mind. But right now, we don't really have much in mind at all because there is no pattern uh, that we can rely upon that strongly. Now, a couple things we can look at, and, and that is the fact that we we do have, let's go to the two-day. We do have this very large inverted head and shoulders down here that marked the market bottom. That still has not fulfilled yet. That's got 1340 to 1350 written on it. And uh, I think that's eventually where we're going to head, maybe even higher than that. But um, anyway, that's the S&P for right now. It's just kind of typical end of the year action. Let's see uh, if the markets can kind of just hold on tomorrow. And uh, maybe we get the January effect. Who knows? So anyway, uh, oh, I would definitely appreciate it if you could take a, a moment or two and visit freechartvideos.com where we use time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. Uh, I think most of our calls have been pretty good. Um, I made a few calls last week in some individual stocks, that uh, uh, one of which has worked out well. Oh, actually, PZG worked out very well. BCRX, I'm abandoning that uh, trade. Um, it's trading like a dog. So I'm, I'm going to let it go back to the pound. But uh, anyway, keep your eyes on... Uh, some of the Chinese solar stocks, uh, I think they are gearing up uh, for a nice move. So take care. Visit the website, freechartvideos.com. And Happy New Year if, if, you don't, if this is the last video you watch between now and then.